first thing that certainly strikes me is embodiment. I hear the happy sound of one hand clapping, that old hand clapping, that big hand clapping. I hear the happy sound of one hand clapping all the way to Buddha land. I am a bisexual woman and I really believe strongly that um, being open about your sexuality is really essential to living a whole and authentic life. 1957, June 20th. The thing I fear in myself, the very thing I must become. Accepting the male and the female in the one, becoming my own opposites. I was actually in a process of figuring out my own self-identification gender-wise. So James Broughton had a piece of work talking about being androgynous in the way of like having both feminine and masculine aspects to yourself and being both male, female, woman, and man. Um, and while I think that my gender is potentially like more complex than that and more of a spectrum, seeing that as a piece of history in his own identity helped me in a small way at least sort of dig deeper. I heard in the shell all the hymns of hell. I heard all the angels crying. I heard the earth in pangs of birth and all the galaxies dying. It's a very important part of history. It's a very marginalized part of history. And I think that bringing that history to the forefront is really important um, so that there's a more well-rounded sense of what's always been the case. That is the importance, is being able to see the ways in which people worked within their own time and their own culture and their own geography, their own space with their work. Like, what was James Broughton doing? Mm -hmm. What were his limitations? What was the way in which he was pushing against the institutions in place? How was he um, expanding upon works and um, sort of bringing in new ideas? How can we do that within our own time? I'm thrilled by how Broughton weaves the spiritual into um, what many would consider to be the profane. So the body, sexuality, human experience, a wide range of emotions, and how playful he is. I'm really moved by the kind of joy and expression and um, just how real he makes it. It's not just art for its own sake, but I feel I, I really had a strong feeling of um, delight after seeing his films and I felt a very strong sense of wanting to kind of take that joy and to, to move with it out into the world.